Last time, he gave him a push. This time, Bobby Gerhardt pulls out to a two-car length lead as they go into three. I don't believe he can do it from here. I mean, Gerhardt's got a pretty comfortable little lead there. So just a short drive down here to the start-finish line now. So here comes Busher with some momentum. Coming out of turn run. four. Into the tri-oval. Will he make the move? He gonna Bobby Gerhardt. Didn't Chris Busher. It's Gerhardt winning for the seventh time at Daytona. Bobby Gerhardt, seven of those coming right here at the most historic racetrack in stock car racing. I tell you, that's, a, that's quite an accomplishment. That is incredible. unbelievable. Seven times here in 24 starts. Less than half a lap to go to get back to victory lane in the ARCA Racing Series. Ty Dillon closing in now. Bobby Gerhardt still on the outside, trying to get a draft, trying to make it nine wins for his career. Ty Dillon looks to the outside. He's got to do something. It opens up the bottom for Hudson. Here they come out of turn number four. Kimmel, the closest to the start finish line. Dillon makes his move to the outside as they close in on the tri -oval. Does he have enough time? Here comes Kimmel through the tri -oval. Here comes Dillon at the stripe. It's Ty Dillon winning this one. How about that? He used the five car of Bobby Gerhardt for momentum. Ty Dillon times it out perfectly and just noses Frank Kimmel at the line. How about Bill Kimmel? So close. What a great job they did. They just were a victim at the end of the race there. Ty Dillon ran a masterful race today. Led most of the start of this race and then just at the last moment makes the perfect pass on Frank Kimmel and gets his win. Waiting to see if anything's gonna happen to Ty Dillon and Enfinger. Coming out of turn number three and four. Ty Dillon, your race leader of the Arc Menards 200, collects the checkered flag for Ty Dillon. Grant Enfinger, second place, Maryland third. Tim George, Chris Busher, rounding out your top five. Well, it looked like Grant Enfinger was able to get right up underneath of your winner, Ty Dillon, but not able to get him loose or to get by him. So Grant Enfinger made the move that he needed to with two laps to go, but just was not able to get past your winner, Ty Dillon, in the number 41 Hemmelgarn Racing Engines. To it just a little bit also but nobody is going to stop ty dillon chris boucher tries in the middle of three and four ty dillon will win in the windy city for his third victory on the season ty dillon beats chris boucher Josh Richards which, with a fine run, his best ever in ARCA competition. Chad McCombie in fourth, and Andrew Ranger winds up rounding out the top five even after beating the right side of that race car off of turn two on the last lap. And the ARCA Racing Series officials have just called this race. With 21 laps to go, it's official. Tim George Jr. will get his first career win in the ARCA Racing Series. What a great move on the restart to get by Grant Enfinger. And just, just after he made the pass, the caution flag comes out for fog. He wants to know, can I get out? <laughs> <laughs> I just stay in there. I just stay in there. You've been in there for an hour now. Moving back up to the wall, behind him, tires shredding, and it looks as though the 32 of Matt Merrill is going to have problems. Into the wall he goes. We're still green. I think that's at the back of the pack. Nobody has to negotiate by. The field made it past. Now a battle for the lead. Here comes Gresham, trying to take the top spot away. Dylan blocks him up high. Down low goes Gresham. Dylan holds on for the win. Win number four for Ty Dillon, and he did it on the restart. He was able to get by Max Gresham. He gets win number four here for 2011. Ty Dillon grabs his sixth career win in just his 11th start. Over 50% of his starts, he's gone to victory lane. What a nice shot. We saw him make an amazing move on the last lap of Talladega to beat 74-time winner Frank Kimmel. 
Max Gresham trying to win his first super speedway race here. He comes up just a little bit short. Tim George brings the other RCR car home in third. Ty Dillon as he enters turn number three. That's about 500. Pretty close. Out of 500 batting average. As we're referring to averages. None better than Ty Dillon at Iowa Speedway. He wins his seventh career race. Kale Gale holds on for second. You can see Frank Kimmel closed on Tim George, but George held him off for that fifth spot. Clay Rogers, Tom Hesser, John Core, Chad Hockenbraw, your top five. Ty Dillon led all but seven laps of this race. That was his crew chief last year. Pulled him beside him right now, Kale Gale. When Ty made his ARCA Racing Series debut with a pole and a second place finish. One more corner for Ty Dillon. Dillon comes out of turn number four after 25 years. The ARCA Racing Series makes it back to Lucas Oil Raceway, and Ty Dillon will go to victory lane. What an outstanding job by all these young drivers up front. Ty Dillon and Ryan Blaney, James Busher, Dakota Armstrong, Tom Hessert, and Ryan Glinski with an opportunity. We won a contest to get in this race. First start ever for Ryan Glinski, and he finishes in sixth. A top 10 finish in his first start ever. There's a proud father. That's Ty's dad, Mike. Ty finished fourth in that first race here in June. So a top five finish for both cars in June through the tunnel turn. Ty Dillon still with a lead on his teammate, Tim George Jr., working their way through the slower lap traffic. All Tim George Jr. needs is a bobble out of the 41. We haven't seen one this year out of that 41 team. Ty Dillon working his way through three. Coming on to the front stretch, Ty Dillon, his ninth career win in the Arca Racing Series. That's the battle for the fifth spot. Max Gresham was able to get to sixth, drove up on the rear bumper, a grand end finger for fifth, not able to get by him. Ryan Wilson in ninth. Frank Kimmel able to finish with a top 10 finish here at Pocono. An impressive performance by this young man. The 55 of Alex Bowman wins his first ever start at Madison comes to the biggest racetrack he's ever raced on in a stock car and will go to victory lane. Alex Bowman, your winner at Kansas. Now those guys were no match for him with those fresh tires. I think Ty Dillon had some damage to this car. He only got back to the seventh spot, but what a great job by Alex Bowman and Jonathan Davis and that crew to bring him to pit road and give up that top 10 spot. Two car lengths separate the two cars as they go down the back stretch. Now three, Chris Busher out in front. Busher will come out of turn number four, and that will be career win number five for Chris Busher. Busher winning his third of the last four races in the ARCA Racing Series 2011 season. There he is, right there, our 2011 ARCA Racing Series champion. The hardware will come out.